I'm, I'm, I'm going to start something which I know you call Truth GBT or uh, a maximum truth seeking AI that tries to understand the nature of the universe. And I think this, this might be the best path to safety. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally here. Elon Musk has finally released XAI's chat GPT competitor, Grok. In this video, I'm going to go over absolutely every single piece of information that there is to know. So if you find value in this video, be sure to like it and subscribe. Now let's get into it. The startup company XAI released a blog post that reads, quote, Grok is an AI modeled after the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, so intended to answer almost anything and far harder, even suggest what questions to ask. Grok is designed to answer questions with a bit of wit and has a rebellious streak, so please don't use it if you hate humor. A unique and fundamental advantage of Grok is that it has real-time knowledge of the world via the X platform. It will also answer spicy questions that are rejected by most other AI systems. Grok is still a very early beta product, the best we could do with two months of training, so expect it to improve rapidly with each passing week with your help. In many ways, this is a very familiar AI application, but in many more ways, Grok is unlike anything we have ever seen before. The Grok chatbot is the first ever product released from Elon Musk's newest company, XAI. This is a venture that Elon Musk first began shortly after his acquisition of Twitter, but now only referred to as X. Elon was one of the original founders of OpenAI, the company who released the tech bomb of the decade, known as ChatGPT. You might have heard of it. You might have also heard of all the drama going on over there at OpenAI, with the board firing the CEO Sam Altman, which led Microsoft, the largest investor of OpenAI, who was blindsided by the whole thing, really pissed off. But that's a whole nother video in itself. So back to Grok. Grok has one major superpower that other AIs do not, which is that it can pull real-time data straight from the X platform. And that is a huge advantage because in so many ways, Grok has instant access to everything that is happening everywhere in the world as long as people are writing about it on X. And we know that OpenAI recently hooked up ChatGPT to the internet through Microsoft Bing search engine, but this is not really the same thing. In order for ChatGPT to find new information, it has to be published in catalog on a website. It needs a certain level of search engine optimization, but Grok is just reading from posts on X as they happen, which could be potentially very, very powerful, but equally as dangerous, which makes me wonder if that is the real motive behind why Musk acquired Twitter. We already know that Grok's function is essentially a chat GPT rival, but what's with the name? Our AI Grok is modeled after the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is uh, one of my favorite books. It's a book on philosophy disguised as a book on humor. Now, the company XAI has only really existed since April 2023. And according to the company, their current chatbot Grok1 is already performing somewhere in between ChatGPT 3.5 and ChatGPT 4. So basically, this tells us that Grok is already better than the ChatGPT from one year ago, but not as good as the current version of ChatGPT, which has been upgraded to use GPT 4. So it is incredible that a relatively small team of 16 people in a relatively short amount of time time was able to create this large language model that can already compete with ChatGPT. This also speaks to Elon Musk's leadership ability to find the right people at the right time. The company's mission is to work on building artificial intelligence to accelerate human scientific discovery, to advance the collective understanding of the universe. Because according to Elon Musk, we do not know the meaning of life, but the more we can expand the scope and scale of consciousness, the more we are able to understand what questions to ask about the universe. We don't know the meaning of life, but the more we can expand the scope and scale of consciousness, digital and biological, the more we are able to understand what questions to ask about the answer that is the universe. Elon was pretty well known for raising the red flag about AI development. He was afraid of the consequences of a powerful AI getting out of control and turning on humanity. The middle ground for Elon was founding OpenAI with the idea that if AI development was inevitable, then he at least wanted it to be done in a safe and transparent manner. And now, the genius is taking his shot at taking over the entire AI industry, starting with the Tesla Autopilot, the Tesla Robot, and now Grok. Can you even begin to imagine the potential of a Tesla plus Grok? 
Let that sink in. The beta version of Grok is only available to a select few people, but there is a sign up sheet for anyone who wants to become a beta tester. Just know that it's limited to verified users on the X platform. And Elon says that priority is being given according to the length of time you have been a verified user on the platform. So the first people who decided to give Elon eight bucks a month for a blue check mark will be repaid with the first public access to Grok. Now, after some time, an updated version of Grok will be integrated into the X platform platform but that too is only for users who are signed up for the premium plus tier which is now 16 bucks a month grok is currently only trained on text information but xai promises that both image recognition and audio recognition is coming soon elon has already set the expectation that grok is going to improve very quickly and will be updated frequently according to elon the ai will be way better in a few months and excellent in six months so in theory by next summer grok should be relatively equivalent to chat gpt although these are going to be two entirely different products. Grok is also the first AI model to train entirely on a social media platform. Now, remember, Grok has access to everything on the X platform, everywhere, all at once. And if X is supposed to be the global town hall, then does Grok become the collective consciousness of the human race? And more importantly, is that something we're ready for?